Найдено живі, слиши, ко тебе кличе глас. Things that are on top of the list and that many, many Australians are enjoying is the uh, our famous Kransky klobasa, or Kransky as they call it in the in the shops, if you. So, uh, and uh, we had a tasting with uh, multiple generations. We had uh, some kids there around the 13 year old mark because we want to make sure that this is an all-encompassing group. Uh, we had a couple of us supposed young ones in our 50s and, uh, and uh, some of the first generation with some fantastic palettes uh, that were there to judge the, uh, what we decided was the best commercially made. Kainsky in, uh, and we'll have a fuck and I'll have an argument, I'm saying Adelaide, he's saying South Australia, we'll work that one out eventually. We'd like to um, welcome um, Franz from Barossa Fine Foods to come and accept an award for what was judged as the best Kainsky uh, Klobasa manufactured commercially, uh, with, we think, in South Australia. So, Franz. Put your hands together. And the makers of fantastic quality of a range of goods in the central market. And I'd like to thank you for coming. Well done. Hang on, no, 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 you've got to hold this. It's a perpetual trophy that we intend to have uh, probably every two years of a judging of the best kind skins in South Australia. Yes, uh, well, it is a great honour and a surprise. Uh, I mean, uh, we're fortunate here in South Australia, in South Australia, um, because we're unique in Australia by the fact that we're able to keep our heritage a lot better, a lot stronger than most of the other cities and, and uh, uh, states. So I think it's wonderful that you're able to, first of all, have recognition that you know as being the home and the originator, originators of Kransky, but also that we're able to maintain the heritage, and I think that's really important because. Our next generations, um, if they are proud of where they come from, I think these are sorts of things that, that make us unique here. And thank you very much. Thank you. Now, can everybody hear me throughout the hall before we get too much further? All good? Speak to Mark if they need an adjustment because I'm busy now. Okay. So, uh, firstly, so we keep coming into our official part of the proceedings, so I'll make it official by, uh, by starting off with Dobro uh, Doshli and welcome to uh, Minister Zoe Pedersen, MP, Minister for Multicultural Affairs, the Honourable Michael Atkinson, Speaker for the House of Assembly and old friend of the Slovenian Club, the uh, Honourable Jing Lee, MLC, representing the State Liberal Leader and Stephen Marshall, MP, and I haven't caught up with you yet, I'm sorry. And the Shadow Parliamentary Secretary for Multicultural Affairs, the Honourable Jennifer Rankin, MP, Member for Right, and the Mayor, uh, Mayor Gary Hanson, City of Port Adelaide and Enfield, and Mr Adrian Vartovitz, uh, Honorary Consul of the Republic of Slovenia. Uh, and. Chalani Priyatli, members and friends, welcome to, uh, on behalf of the Slovenian Club of Adelaide, it's a thank you to the people that brought us together in this place, uh, who had a, who started off a long-term vision in the mid-1950s with, with, uh, with, I've heard Danilo uh, Krešević speak about the raffle tickets and the fundraising and the chuk, chuk raffles or whatever we were calling them, they might have been kokushia raffles and maybe they were kokasa raffles or something, but trying to keep my introduction, introductory speech brief, um, this, from my perspective, I guess it's a, there's, there are a lot of memories and for you there will be a lot of memories for old and young and 
those of us around my age, supposedly the young ones now in my late 50s, uh, and the photos that roll up on the board, and there's a lot more photos, and we'd actually like you to bring old photos in that we can scan and put onto this loop. If you haven't had a chance to have a look, some of them will tug at your heartstrings that are people that were dear to us all that are gone. There are young and old that are no longer there. I mean, my first memories of Slovenian activity was a boiler at the back. I must have been an RSL club and Kainsky getting put into a pot and French mustard and bread and thinking, this is not, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. It was, uh, it was a, my first eye-opener to uh, a different way of, uh, a different cultural um, way of life and then and running around with the kids that I've become great friends with, Mark Arell and Frank Dodic and the connections that we had the opportunity to make with people of Slovenian heritage purely because of those that came before us that actually had the vision and the drive and the desire to maintain that connection with Slovenia and the things that I, Mark and so many of my um, generation are proud to be associated with and we may not be here in front of you but we gather together as Slovenians and we speak in the Slovenian language that we learn because we grew up at of that time and there's a and our next generation of children that we are bringing into the club my daughter was making sausages out the back with Ivan's daughter those are the things that we find and I find really important so all I want to say is thank you so much to the people that came before us and kept this place going and, and um, put your heart and soul into everything that was involved. So many of you have been on the committees and we appreciate the work that you've done to now and all we are doing is trying to honour your, uh, your efforts and your memories that, that, and those that came before us. Uh, so, uh, thank you. So the first, uh, the first thing I'd like to do is to um, find my place on the program and invite the youth choir to come up to the stage. This is uh, something that's been pretty special that, that have come back on board. There's uh, some um, Slovenian families that have come over to Adelaide pretty recently and they've got some beautiful young kids and they're now going to be involved. So if we could bring the, bring the uh, Ushka Slovenian you choir up to the stage, please, and there we go. Happy birthday to Slovenian club and uh, to our dear country, Slovenia. Zapili vam Monika iz slovenskih pesmi. Naši mladi na debutni otroci iz Veselja predstavljajo kar so se naučili in kar ohranjajo domovine. This means we are happy to present you our love to our nation, to our country. So I think song and singing our national songs is one of the things that helps us to keep the contact and the bond with our nation and this is very dear to us. Thank you. Moje dekle 
That was beautiful. In, it uh, must have been, it was early 60s that uh, the original Slovenian club was uh, opened, and I can't remember the exact date. I'll probably pass that information on to somebody. Hopefully somebody's picked it up. But uh, there was Belina in the back, and there was eight ball tables, and I bumped into some people I had never met before, but boy, could they tell a story. I discovered the, uh, the, the, the uh, definition, and I'm still trying to find out what the word is in Slovenian, but the definition of, of a raconteur was Danny Bogoc, as far as I was concerned, because he could tell a story not nobody I'd ever met before, and he was, uh, I think he must have been uh, about 10 at the time. And those are the things that the memories of, some of the things that Slovenian club memories are built upon, and, and the first time I ever discovered uh, flavoured chips because that's what Dad would bribe us with because he wanted to stay and play a few more rounds of Bolina or cards or eight ball or whatever it was and I'm sure those things still happen because that's what I do with my own kids. I'd like to welcome the president of the uh, Slovenian club, uh, our first second generation president who uh, came on board last year, Dinka Yerabitsa. Thank you. Thank you. because I've already feeling um, emotional about this. But anyway, I'd like to do the formal bit and thank you, for Jennifer Rankin, for writing it out for me. Um, the Honourable Zoe Benison, Minister for Multicultural Affairs, is here today. Thank you for being here. The Honourable Michael Atkinson, Speaker of the House of Assembly, Member for Croydon and former Minister for Multicultural Affairs. Thank you. Honourable Jennifer Rankin, Member for a Right and also former uh, Minister for Multicultural Affairs. We've got them all here. <laughs> and the Honourable Jimmy, Member of the Legislative Council and also involved with the Multicultural Affairs. Mayor Gary Johnson, City of Port Adelaide, thank you so much for being here. And Pater Cyril, hello, you're one of us. <laughs> thank you for being here. is in English but I will say one bit and I won't embarrass myself by speaking my dialect but I'll say le posrav the same in fala kesta prishli okay thank you so it's my great pleasure to welcome all of you here today our dignitaries our members our guests from the oldest to the youngest and they are amazing a blessing that's come our way Today is a celebration of the 26th anniversary of Slovenian independence and it's the celebration of the 60 years since our club has started and a huge thank you to all of you that are here to celebrate this occasion. All of you, just look around, it's just amazing. When I was thinking about what to say at this event, many ideas come through, but what I asked myself was, what is the true essence of today? What is the meaning of today? So I concluded with the help of, of a one, one or two glasses of wine, earn a little bit of sliver bits, just putting it out there that I can be bribed. And um, so I believe that the essence of today is about the amazing lives of the people who came to this country. My parents, your parents, our families. Whatever their reasons, they had decided to make 
uh, a new beginning in this country. A beginning that was faced with challenges, a beginning of joy, a beginning of success and accomplishment. Um, but here comes the big one, the beginning of re realisation of no return. Can you imagine no return in this foreseeable future? That they couldn't just jump on a jet plane, as the song goes, and fly home. Or make a phone call that you knew, if you could afford to have a home line in the first place, would financially disadvantage your family. The beginning of the realisation of a sense of loss and suffering. Back in the day, in the 1940s and the 50s and so on, the closest you could do to connect to the new world with the old was to send a letter by sea mail, which would take a month just to get there because air mail was still very expensive. It is hard to imagine one month, which takes, what takes one month today? There were no computers, no mobile phones, no internet, no Skype, no texting. No Googling, um, no, the right sort of Googling, you know. No phone calls. Now all, that, and now, all that is in most cases at our fingertips. That there is technology all around us. What took days and months now takes seconds. I came to this land when I was five years old. I was born in the old land, the land that my father shed so many tears for. Some families were fortunate they were able to sponsor their relatives to come to Australia, so they were united. But others left everyone behind. My father was one of those. I share my story because I know my story is duplicated and repeated in many lives here today. How many events, birthdays, christenings, birth of nephews and nieces, death of left loved ones, the death of a father, grandmother, grandfather, brother or sister, my father, as I said, shed more than one tear, drank more than one drink to comfort himself that he wasn't able to be at those events, which in turn impacted on, my, on me, on my mother, my sister and immediate family. But there is a silver lining in every cloud, and that is the community. Our community. The courage and determination to create a new beginning. The beginning of a collective. The beginning of a druzhba. Our Druzhba, our community, through the hard work of all our members and all the presidents before me and committee members, the Slovenians began to create their own piece of Slovenia. They would get together, they would sing, they would dance, they would drink and they would work. And they would do that many times over. That was their joy, that was their healing, that is what saved them in their struggles. So today we are celebrating the 60th anniversary of their achievement. This club, this healing place, this celebration is a witness to a piece of their homeland, a piece of Slovenia that is here in the heart of Adelaide. Did they realise back in the day what they were truly deciding to do? I don't think so. But the admiration I have, we have, is that having made that decision, you, the first generation, had amazing courage. With no language, with no money, with new families, you are here today. You had the courage to continue a healthy life with no psychiatrists, no drugs, but maybe with a little bit of help from a glass of wine or two. A life that you provided the best you could for your families. A life that was contributed to the fabric of our society today. You were able to convert your difficulties to successes. I, we have great admiration for you, our first generation. We, your children, would like to thank you for all that you have done. We hope that we can continue the success that you've created with this club, this small piece of Slovenian soil here. We hope that you are and will be proud of us as we look at continuing this tradition and the community that you have created. You have done this. The responsibility is now beginning to be ours. We have had our first amazing success with the Masquerade Dance earlier this year. This has been followed up by the Catch Up Sundays, which has begun to attract now the new recent Slovenians that are out there now. And we'll begin to have Catch Up Fridays with Kranskis in August. And so that we can balance our lifestyle of too much eating, which Slovenians do well, there will also be Catch Up Walks. There, are, there is also Sveti McLeod, Culture Day, Concerts, <laughs> Botcher, and hopefully sometime soon, a school for teaching the little ones Slovenian. That is just to name a few. However, I will ask 
second, third and fourth generations as you are here today to give us some thought as to what is in your heart. What are we going to take from our parents, the first generation? Can we continue this tradition? Can we be respectful in our activities and in goals, not only for us Slovenians on this Slovenian soil, but this club and its members can be inclusive of all other communities. <coughs> Through the club, we are now providing you with an opportunity to, to again connect and reconnect with each other, take this gift and cherish it, and make it grow and become part of this community again. We are blessed that our parents chose this country. This is the best country in the world. Thank you for all that you have done. And I'll, um, I would like to also acknowledge and take a moment for the ones that are not here with us today. The mothers, the fathers, brothers and sisters, uncles, aunties, daughters and sons, all that have gone before us and those that are not here because they are not well. Could you please take a moment of reflection for remembering and paying our respects. I would like to say a big thank you to the youth choir and the presenters today. Also a thank you and gratitude to the great commun community that I feel privileged to be part of. Thank you for the trust that you have in me. Thank you for the work that you are doing and the work today. Thank you for the people that have helped and continue to help in all sorts of ways. Thank you to the people deciding to come on board. And to the rest of you, thank you for being in our lives and being our teachers. I feel blessed to have been given this opportunity to be of service to my Slovenian people. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Nika. And now we'll move into the formal, uh, uh, even more formal proceedings of the 26th anniversary commemoration of the creation of the country of Slovenia. Uh, and part of that, I'd like to acknowledge the uh, original custodians of the land, the Karana people. I may not pronounce that well, but the intention is sincere. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, Avery Vatovitz and the choir to sing the national, respective national anthems. Thank you. Please, if you can manage it. If you can't, I'd like to hear your voices. Just as a, just briefly, the, word, the programs that are on the tables have most of the words of the songs that are going to be sung today. So please open them up and you'll find them. So there's no excuse. Oh, no. 
The Honourable Jennifer Rankin, MP, <coughs> Father Cyril Bozic, OFM, OIMEV, from the Spanish Catholic Mission in Melbourne. Thank you very much for your uh, church service this morning. The church is very nice. Thank you. Uh, Gary Johansson, Mayor of uh, Port Adelaide uh, Airfield Council. Thank you, Rubitsa. President of Adelaide, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Slovenia began migrating to other parts of the world in large numbers after World War II. As Europe and Slovenia were devastated by the Second World War, there was no choice but to leave their beloved homeland for economic reasons. By the mid-1950s, there were about 3,500 Slovenians living in Adelaide, <coughs> and there proved to be enough years to form Slovenian Club Adelaide in 1957, with Danilo Kresovic as the first president of the club. Danilo, is he sing tonight? Can you please stand up, please? The club's initial objectives, in addition for people who wish to socialise with fellow countrymen, were to preserve Slovenian cultural and national traditions, sponsor and assist Slovenian nationals and all their families to migrate to Australia and to care and for and assist financially and in every other way possible migrants and their families already in Australia and to help them where necessary to fit with the Australian way of life. The club from the outset is non-political and non-profit community organisation and this positioning is still maintained today. In the 1950s, Slovenian Club Adelaide dances were held in the city and later at the RSL Hall on Port Road in Hymarsh. The RSL Hall is probably my earliest recollection of attending a Slovenian Club dance for the then president, Franz Jockel, sprinkling the dance floor with sawdust at the beginning of the evening to make the dance floor faster to dance on. I vividly remember our first generations spinning around that dance floor very quickly. And the limbo rock, yes, I remember you Slovenians going lower and lower underneath that wooden pole. You had great backs back then. <laughs> and when dinner came time, and when dinner time came at 10 p.m., the intoxicating aroma of Kransk Labasa or Kransk sausages, as they call them here, drew us to the serving area. <coughs> Kransk sausage was supplied by a Slovenian butcher who had a shop called Austria Meats on Tapas Hill Road at Royal Park. Perhaps it was from this shop that the generation, uh, general population in Adelaide wrongly attributed the Kreisky sausage of being an Austrian or German origin. <coughs> My first public appearance as a musician took place at one of those Slovenian club dances at the RSL Hall. And alongside me on accordion was our current president, Dinka Yorovica. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the accordion. What I remember from those dances is that uh, there was a couple who would always be on, first on, on the dance floor. I don't recall their names, but they would go around that dance floor at the speed of light. Who can remember picnics at Loftier Park on those long, hot summer days? As kids, we had a great time, I'm sure the adults did as well. Even on New Year's Eve was held at Loftier Park. Speaking of New Year's Eve, before the swimming club premises was built in Hainash, the year-end ball was held at Theberton Town Hall, now called Theberton Theatre. Standing on the stage as a musician, all I could see was a sea of people. 
the place was just uh, packed out. Theatre seats 1,900 people, and this gives you some idea just how many people attended the New Year's Eve balls back then. Once the Slavonic Club premises was built in the early 1970s in Hindmarsh by a very hard working Slovenians, then we had a facility where Slovenian language, music, folk dancing and players could take place from the cultural side. And from the sports side, there was boccia, billiards and an indoor soccer team were active. Having a club premises then enabled the club to hold dances on a regular basis, as well as events for Mother's and Father's Day and other occasions such as youth dances. There was a lot of excitement when the phenomenal Slovenian band Sluck first played in the hall. They were also the first a band from Slovenia to tour Australia. The club also purchased a, a, a farm near Harndorf, so picnics were held here instead of Loftier Park. In the 90, 1980s, it was decided to build a new club, Dudley Park, with existing facilities sold off, and this is where we are here today. So over the past 60 years, the Slovenian community has built two Slovenian clubs and owned a farm. This motivation to build is inherent in Slovenians and underlines Slovenians as hard-working and high achievers. To add to this, the community has built a church which is located in Hindmarsh. Did I say Slovenians are high achievers? The first generation of Slovenian migrants have been the main drivers in the development of Slovenian Club Adelaide over the past 60 years. They have poured their life in the development of the club and deserve extremely high praise. Over the past 12 months, Slovenian Club Adelaide has installed a new committee which is comprised of second generation Slovenian Australians. This is the first time in a Slovenian community organisation in Australia that is totally comprised of second generation Slovenian Australians. This is a great achievement and the second generation members should be congratulated in taking this important step of responsibility. And recently two people from the third generation have been added to the committee. A major challenge is to further engage second and third generation Slovenian Australians to participate in the Slovenian community and the club's life in a very in a way that they can identify with their Slovenian heritage and ancestry in a positive and proactive manner. <coughs> I would like to acknowledge the following people who received awards for their services to the Slovenian community from the Office of Slovenians Abroad and were presented to them in Government House by the Government of South Australia, the Honourable Human Lay AC, and the Slovenian Ambassador to Australia, Helena Borshev Zorko. This was held 10 days ago. Uh, the first award went to Slovenian Cup Adelaide for 60th anniversary. Izzy uh, Dorstergar, uh, Svetka Jamnik, Ivan Sofuta, uh, 60th anniversary for the Holy Family Church Choir. Uh, 25th anniversary of our choir members here. And 20th anniversary of Slovenian South Australian Newsletter. Today, June 25, we also acknowledge Slovenia's 26th Statehood Day. The main ceremony in Slovenia celebrated Statehood Day, or National Day, as it often referred to, with which Slovenia marked the 26th anniversary of its independence today. It took place on the eve of the holiday in Lubana St. Congress Square with President Oren Pachl delivering the keynote speech. The National Assembly held a special session beforehand. Before Pachl started his keynote speech at 9 p.m., the ceremony was announced with a gun salute from Ludlana Castle. The President's address was followed by artistic performances of a total of 80 participants, directed by Igor Zupa, and based on a short essay on the creation of Slovenia as an independent state of philosopher Peter Marker. Representatives of all three branches of power, current and former ministers, MPs, of all sittings of the National Assembly, councillors, academics, religious orders, business executives and cultural workers attended the ceremony. The National Assembly met for a special session ahead of the ceremony, while Paho will welcome visitors at the Parliament, uh, presidential palace this morning, Slovenia time. The honorary guard will be lined up in front of the palace. A mass for the homeland marking National Day was already held on Friday evening by the Lublana Archbishop Stanislav Zore at St. Nicholas Cathedral in Lublana. It was attended by residents of politics and the diplomatic corps. On June 25, National Day, Slovenia commemorates the day when the Slovenian Assembly passed the Basic Constitutional Charter and the Declaration of Independence in 1991. The Charter was based on its December 1990 plebiscite in which 88.2% of the voters opted to leave Yugoslavia and was the culmination of years of yearning and months of preparation to go independent. Slovenian Declaration of Independence, which actually came on 26th of June, jump-started the 10-day 10 10 war sorry, with Yugoslavia. The fighting ended on 7th July 1991 when Slovenian pledged an EU-brokered declaration to suspend its independence efforts for three months. 
When the memorandum expired in October 91, Yugoslav People's Army troops left Slovenia and the country introduced its own currency and eventually obtained international recognition in the months thereafter. This year marks the 25th anniversary since Australia recognised Slovenia as an independent state on 16 January 1992, becoming one of the first overseas countries to do so. Slovenians in Australia actively engaged Australian governments at the state and federal levels to recognise Slovenia as an independent country. Thank you to Slovenians in Australia for being so active and thank you to Australia for recognising Slovenia. Let us celebrate this wonderful day. The Slovenian Club Committee has done a, a fantastic job in putting together this celebration day. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to call upon uh, the Honourable Zoe Benson, MP, Minister for Multicultural Affairs, to come and have a few words, and then uh, we'll get some more entertainment. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. Can I acknowledge my state and local parliamentary colleagues, Michael, Jennifer, Jing and Gary, and it's a pleasure to have Adrian here, the Honorary Consul of the Republic of Slovenia. I had the opportunity to be there when he was inducted, and it's great to see him here today. Can I thank you, Dinka, because that was a speech from the heart, and it reflects all of the joy that you've experienced here together, and we want to continue that into the future. It's an honour to attend today's activities in my capacity as Minister for Multicultural Affairs. It is a day of joy and celebration as we commemorate 60 years of the Slovenian Club. I always relish the opportunity to share in and experience the culture of another community. Always I look forward to the Slovenian music and dancing. And I've seen the four pigs out there, so I know that you're in for a delicious dinner going ahead. Today, this festivity represents six decades of hard work, service and support of your community. Congratulations. You have made some notable accomplishments. You've shown commitment to both your own people and the greater South Australian community. In fact, as I made my way here today, I realised, of course, I've been here many times, but this is the first time I've been at your club for a Slovenian activity. I've been here for Filipinos and from the Liberian African community. So I'm really delighted at how you share your facilities with other community groups. Can I acknowledge the first generations of past presidents, office bearers and committee members for the extraordinary service and commitment to this club. You have preserved and enhanced Slovenian culture in South Australia, maintaining and observing your national traditions while sharing them with the wider South Australian community. What is a club? We can see it at the practical basis, it's a safe space for the community, for recreation, entertainment, culture, but at its heart, it's about togetherness. And it's about coming together <coughs> to be with each other as you celebrate your culture. I'm delighted to see that you are engaging with your younger communities because this is a challenge across the board for our multicultural groups to let those second and third generations be active and involved. On behalf of the Government of South Australia, I applaud you on your 60 years of service to your people and to your state. Most recently, we were pleased to support this with a $5,000 grant for IT equipment for your club. <coughs> Today, you honour me by inviting me to share this celebration. And in order to remember this, I'd like to ask Dinka to come forward for a small presentation. On behalf of the Government of South 
South Australia. Thank you for inviting me to share with you today. <coughs> I always enjoy your choir and I'm really looking forward to hearing them in just a moment. Thank you. I'd like to invite Ivan Vodnik Legisha to come to the stage. While everyone's making his way here, uh, speaking of the uh, New Year's Eve's at, just very quickly, New Year's Eve's at Thurban Town Hall, the reason that the balloons are on the stage, uh, are on the, your tables, is that as a childhood memory, those balloons that used to be floating up, up in the ceiling that all got released at the end of the night was one of the highlights of every kid's life. And I'd like to thank you for whoever's idea that was, because it made my night. In the spirit of the greatest Slovenian poet, the Shirna Venduku, Sveta Brodolomsi, Na peti cerini zgradili smo hišo, da naši potomci z veselimi srci bi čutno sprejeli na vado obredo in željo očetov. Izven domovine predane v sodo, zavestno z dožnostjo, z oznojem in čelom gradili smo zvesto, da naše življenje ne bi potonilo brez smiselno smrt. Vi, včire in sini, Sedaj in za nami, prepevajte pesmi, očakom predani. Sam Boh vas ohrani, preširne v duhu, povezane z drami, slovenskemu rodu in vsestranski ponos. Thank you. I'd like to call uh, the Honourable Michael Atkinson, MP Speaker of the House of Assembly, to the stage, please. My uh, parliamentary colleague Zoe Bettison, the Minister uh, for Multicultural Affairs and member for the Salisbury area, uh, Jing Lee, member of the Upper House and Shadow Parliamentary <coughs> Secretary for Multicultural Affairs, uh, Jennifer Rankin, member for the Golden Grove area, and also a former member for a uh, Minister for Multicultural Affairs. Uh, with Multicultural Affairs, you'll find it's like Hotel California. You can check out, but you can never leave. <laughs> um, the Mayor of Port Adelaide, uh, Enfield, uh, Gary uh, Johansson and uh, uh, Vicky, your President, Dinka Yerobitsa. And uh, Dinka, I would like to thank you for the best speech I've heard at a Multicultural Affairs function in 25 years. You really, really broke down the refugee experience in, in, into its component parts rather than use the sometimes um, uh, clinical words that we, we politicians uh, use in, in trying to describe it. Uh, to the Honorary Consul for the Republic of Slovenia, uh, Adrian Vatovets, who is the most versatile Honorary Consul I've ever seen at a function, able to, to play the national anthem on the piano accordion. Uh, to Father uh, Cyril, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, 20 years ago I uh, wrote a, a letter to be included in a, a message to be included in a, a, a booklet for what was the sixth anniversary of Slovenian independence and I, I wrote in that a column of federal Yugoslav army tanks moving up a road into a Slovenian wood and then halting is my first memory of Slovenia. I knew little about the nation that was resisting but within days the Slovenian people's unity and resolve saved their country the war that followed elsewhere in former Yugoslavia. I also vividly remember the television reports of the opening of the border with Austria, which marked the lifting of the Iron Curtain. I came to know Slovenians only after Slovenia had won its independence. I attended the 1994 exhibition at the Migration Museum, 
Slovenia Moya Dejela. I still have the exhibition booklet with a lovely colour illustration of a mother looking at her baby asleep in a cradle. And later I called in at the club at Dudley Park to admire the exhibition of dresses. In 1995, I enjoyed the community's hospitality at the West Hindmarsh Presbytery after a mass celebrated by the Bishop of Ljubljana. So I, I thank the club for sending me that message, which I probably couldn't have found anywhere in my own records. Of course, what we know is that on the 23rd of December 1990, the Slovenian people were given the opportunity to vote yes or no to independence, and by more than 88%, they chose independence. What I didn't realise when I was watching the television coverage of the 10-day war is that the Yugoslav army tanks weren't so much moving up a road into a forest, they were moving down a road in retreat and had been surrounded in Krakovo forest by the Slovenian uh, territorial defence um, forces. Um, I enjoyed the company at this club for for many years and I was inspired by among others uh, Rosemary and Danilo to uh, visit Slovenia in which I did in 2004 and we flew in a propeller driven plane from Vienna airport to uh, Ljubljana. The only trouble was uh, there was a, the airport was fog bound and so for an hour I had this enormous good fortune to conduct an aerial tour of just about the whole of uh, Slovenia while the plane um, waited, the pilot waited for the fog to lift and, and what, a great, uh, what a great tour it was. I admit, I admit after a, uh, about an hour we had some anxiety about, about how much fuel there was in the tank. Um, and so we, we uh, visited Ljubljana Castle, we uh, attended Mass at the, the principal Franciscan uh, church and then we drove from Ljubljana to, to Zagreb uh, via Bregana. Slovenians came to South Australia in good numbers in the 1950s and life was much harder for these Slovenians than it would be for later refugees and migrants coming to Australia. For some Slovenian Australians there was two years working at the direction of the Commonwealth, sometimes in remote locations. Nevertheless, Slovenian Australians adapted well to life down under, they integrated well with Australian society and they prospered in Australia's mixed economy. You and your parents and grandparents built a church at West Hindmarsh and a club here at Dudley Park. And so good is this club that other ethnic minorities hire it to celebrate their feasts and festivals, as uh, Zoe Betterson truly remarked, and they celebrate their uh, feasts and festivals uh, with the beautiful but unlikely uh, backdrop of Lake Bled. Uh, about 20 years ago I went to Mass at the Holy uh, Family Church and an elderly couple told me they were going back to Slovenia to live. And this made me think a lot. Yours is a holy, successful, happy refugee story. Slovenians came to Australia and overcame the difficulties of distance language and a strange country to succeed. In 1991, Slovenia won its independence and became a parliamentary democracy living under the rule of law. In 2004, Slovenia joined the European Union and NATO. In 2010, Slovenia joined the OECD. So, you could travel back to Slovenia to visit or live there if you wanted to. And then if you wanted to, you could come back to the Australia you now call home. Yours is a refugee story with a happy ending. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. That was beautiful. The, uh, while I'm uh, waiting for Adrian to uh, come and join the choir, uh, the, the, um, uh, there's going to be some more singing <coughs> at this point. And uh, when you're ready, Adrian. Uh, in the meantime, I, I, I visited Slovenia 
I had made a trip back to the old country for many, many years and uh, we arrived on the border the day that the ceasefire had been declared and I had a hire car and I drove over the border and the car started shaking to pieces and I jumped out of the car and what the hell have I done to this rental? And, uh, and a fellow went past going the other way in, and in the first words I heard from a Slovenian native and, and travelling independently were uh, basically what's, what's, what's the problem? And when I told him what the problem was, he said, there's nothing wrong with the car. It's the actual corrugations in the road from the tanks that have been going up and down at the border uh, up until the day before. And when we left, uh, out, when we uh, went home after that trip, it was a similar story. We were actually stuck behind columns of Yugoslavian tanks and troops as they actually left the country, and it was an incredible time. And I'd like to uh, welcome Adrian and the uh, Slovenian choir. Oh, yeah, 
v tvojih mehkih nedrih pa otoček čist svoj izvir ima. Izkrijo skale se gora, kot visrna orglica, in orel plava spod neba, kot da bi v strašnik vim ja. Se skal smehlja planinski cvet, ga v srcu nosi vsak poet. Ko pomlad po ljubi nam gore, se v cvetju pestrem zaiskre. Plahe srne hitrih nog skakljajo tiho iz vloga v vlog in kjer do dendrom vrdeč cveti, se divi petelen oglasi. Ko zdovi te obdajajo, mekrice z njih stajajo. Drevesne krošnje radostno v vetru se prepletajo in šepetajo se reči, ki jih mati zemlja sporoči. To so skrivnostne besedi, ki jim um človeški ne sledi. Ob znožju temnih tigora leže vasica kraj polja. Ko vdaljo pohitijo ko, glej, mesta bela tam raso. In polja zorna tam leže, med njimi pa tleko vode. Obdaje modro to nebo, ga blage klime spremljajo. Timor je buta v bregove in ljudstvo snuje snove nove. In ceste vdalje di teko, žal v njih zgubi se marsikdo. Ponosno se trigla odvikuje v nebo, vas vabijo karavanke z lepoto svojo, kot biser se otok tam blejski plešči in kliče do leska v svoje kleti. Se pohorje naše med poli vali in dalje tam drava pred meje hiti. Sončna primorska ob kraju leži in sončna kot breskev, ki prav kar zori. Ti biser naša Slovenija, je rod slovenski dom ima. Naj sonce grejte toplo, naj zvezde srečno svetijo. Slovenija, dežela moja, naj večna bo lepota tvoja, ker tvoje modro je nebo, živi naj ljudstvo radostno. I'd like to ask the Honourable Jingli MLC Shadow Parliamentary Secretary for Multicultural Affairs to come to the stage <laughs> and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eddie. Good afternoon, everybody. I just need uh, a few minutes of your attention. I know that I'm the last speaker on the day and that you can get on to do a bit of partying. Uh, to celebrate the 60th anniversary. <coughs> Today is a great honour to represent Stephen Marshall, the Leader of the Opposition, in joining you in this celebration. Can I also acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, Ministers Zoe Batterson, Michael Atkinson, Jennifer Wright, and of course Mayor jo uh, Gary Johansson. But the most important people to acknowledge today, of course, is your very hard-working committee, President and Dinka. You have Eddie there walking around, but he's uh, doing all the good job as an MC and everything behind the scene. Can I acknowledge your honorary consul, Adrian, and the choir for your marvellous performance today. When I saw and listened to the children singing earlier on the stage, it, is, it gives me immense joy because as a migrant to this beautiful country, Australia, and the daughter of a migrant, English is also my second language. I came to Australia with probably a few sentences, a few words of English. I have to learn English from the beginning. To know that as migrants, the challenges we face and the fact that you have paved the way, your pioneers, 
the heart and soul of this civilian club. You become the pillars of strength to your community and the commitment for the next generation in preserving those traditions. It is immensely pride and joy, the heart and soul of this community that make you strong, make you achieve, make you part of this strong multicultural South Australia. I pay tribute to all of you. I pay tribute and give my thanks to everyone who made great contribution to South Australia. Thank you for all the moving stories that you have shared. Thank you for the work you have uh, encouraged in your community and to the next generation and this generation. May you live long life, prosperity, happy anniversary. Thank you very much for having me today. Full of energy as always, thank you. Um, Frank Conchina, it's your turn to come up and say a few words. Natuyam, Uma Dosti, Sirni Jeriame, Natuyam, Zomagnalaye, Dasam Sevushir, Disfet Pudam. Za vedno bom uželoval. Minulo je že dosti let, od kar očel sem tuji svet. Že vedno pa me kliče glas, ki vabi me tja vrodno vas. Mi tujec mrk ima obraz, ne čut je isto kakor jaz. Čeprav pogačo daje mi, le kruh domači i diši. Prek vole širnega morja, prek strmih teh vrhov gora, prek trav zelenih in gozdov, zdaj končno vračam se domov. Oj, nagel beli in pardeč, te rož marin lepo dišeč, bodita vedno mi vzpomin, da sem slovenske zemlje sem. Okay, As, uh, before, we, uh, before Adrian comes back with the Slovenian choir, and this is actually the part of the day where we, act, we want all of you to join in. Uh, the words to the songs that they will be singing are at the back of the program. Adrian will let you know what they are before he gets there. But before we start, as part of the acknowledgement of this being the 26th anniversary of the uh, formation of the country of Slovenia, I would actually like to have a moment's silence for those that gave their lives to make it so. If you just maintain some silence for a moment. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> the uh, next part of the proceedings, we'd actually like to wish our country a happy birthday. Uh, and we've, uh, I'll bring uh, Rosemary up to acknowledge the, uh, the baking of the cakes. And uh, if you can open up your programs, you'll find the uh, Kapilis. We'll be singing, uh, that's the old Gibio, El Ojibio, just a moment. Why am I just a moment, Rosemary? There we go. <coughs> Okay, um, this is sort of a little bit informal, but I would like to thank the two families who ordered these birthday cakes um, in honour of our 60th anniversary and the 26th anniversary of 
uh, independent Slovenia. And that's Elaine and Alois Wodobibitz and Stefan and Maria Gabosek. Um, we owe them for these two beautiful cakes. Um, hopefully everyone can get maybe a sliver, but I don't promise anything. So please be upstanding. And Adrian, please. Like, happy birthday and then the traditional Slovenian one. And I'd ask Dinka to join me in cutting these two cakes, please.
sebe. Because I normally hear a lot more voices than I'm hearing. I know Slovenians can sing. I've heard you do it. Yeah. 